morning. It's Nancy today. Well, I should have a hat on, you know. I really have gotten lazy with the hat situation. There's nothing handy to reach. There are hats up there. There, you can look at one of them. I guess that greenish one is the best. All right, well, let's see. Today is Wednesday, the 30th of whatever month this is, January. End of January. Amazing. So Willem left for work very early. He had taken yesterday off because it was freezing rain, and yet the freezing rain never showed up. So the freezing rain showed up this morning, but I don't think it actually happened. I think we have rain. Look at that. We had this much snow out there two hours ago. It's gone. There's no snow on the railing anymore. So, um, I'm trying to... Well, I don't know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get up every hour. Sometimes I sit in my chair. And it's really easy to sit here more than an hour. People say, oh, they do such and such for three hours. Or, you know, I can sit in this chair for many, many, many hours. I won't say how many. Anyway, whatever. So I've been trying to get up every hour at least. I'm working on a few things. Um, I'm reclaiming clay yet again. I seem to reclaim clay a lot. But I had all this nice clay reclaimed, and then I went to Georgia, and so, of course, the clay hardened out over time. It wasn't packaged tightly enough. And then it was in the sunroom, so it makes it... Um, it freezes in there. Once clay freezes reclaimed clay freezes it is um, it it becomes little uh, it layers it divides into layers anyway so you have to re-wedge it and in some cases I just might as well reclaim it again so I've been working on that I've made a few videos for the, they'll be up in a month or two I've also been weaving and I've been tatting I'll show you my tatting. Let's see if I can put it here so you can see it. Hmm. Looks a lot better when I cut off all these little extra strings that are on it. It's also easier to do all that when I'm using two hands. There. There. I've really improved in my work with with tatting. It's looking very nice. I have a book on tatting patterns, which I've been playing with lately. Okay, so that's the tatting, and now I will show you my my weaving. Um, Shirley, hi Shirley. She gave me these bags of mop yarn. They're for making mops. So I've been using them. They're not very long. So each one has to start and stop. You know, this one will go that far, and then it'll turn back, and then I'll have to start this one there. But I don't know if you can really see the pattern on it. Like, it's easy to see this pattern. We're working... This is Finnish Bird's Eye. So there's the the pattern. There's several patterns, right? There's five of them there. I'm using the fifth one now. 
number five. And so this is, I don't know if you can see it, but these are the triangles it's making. It's hard to see it in there at all. Seems to work best when it's the red. You can see, you can really see this here, but not here. But here is the pattern. But there's a lot of these ends, of course. Every line has an end. So that's the weaving I'm working on. I also have this one that I'm working on, but I really am not working on it. I don't like the brown. It's too dark. And they're also very close. I can't remember what we're doing with this one. I think it might be down there. No, oh, that's the Prussian diaper paper. Anyway, so maybe I'll use with that, I'll use some of these nice colors down here. So we'll see how that goes. So that's another project. And Eight o'clock. Jamie Taylor is here with news headlines. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Robin. Well, we're just a couple hours away now from a major launch for Research in Motion. The much-hyped BlackBerry 10 will be... Okay. So it's raining. Got my birds fed. The snow is going down today. I like my snow, though. Did you want to go outside, Mel? Give you something other to do than just lick your fur off? Go ahead. You can be out there for a while. I'm going through my cupboard drawers and getting rid of tons and tons of utensils. Having the dump is a wonderful thing, but I end up with lots of things that are duplicates. Okay, and the next thing I'm working on is reclaiming clay. I put it on this plaster stuff and then it I love how it comes up like that. Isn't that cool? I've got another box of it in there. And then I've already reclaimed all this and wedged it. This one's not as dry yet. See how it lifts up when it's when it starts to dry out enough. Perhaps it shrinks back. Remember when I made these bats? I showed you. I did making plaster bats. So, I can see wedging in my future. I'm trying to keep on top of it. Definitely not ready to go. Alright, well that's what's happening in my life at the moment. I'm also, I have finished the soap stuff, that's got to go back outside. And over there I have some birch bark for making a basket and some um, cool rushes. to clean my hand off now. Try not to let any of the clay go down the, the drain. The drain is definitely a problem out there. The gray water where the um, wash water goes across the top. It's frozen. The, the, the rate of freezing 
is very fast. Hey, are you upside down or am I upside down? Which way is right? Anyway, um, the rate of freezing cold, it got so cold, negative 30, and it's like a locomotive. It, it drives the, fr the snow, the, it drives the cold down into the ground, and it's like a, a truck. It's going at a certain speed, and the cold behind it is pushing it, but then as the cold dissipates or warms up, it stops pushing it, but it still takes the truck a while to slow down, just like a truck on a road. Just because it's run out of gas doesn't mean it's going to stop. So the cold has been driving down, so even while it was mild, the gray water pipe froze out there. So it'll take a while for it to thaw. Alright, well let's hope you're not seeing everything upside down. Bye!